In today's show, we have a story about CMAP. And a stand up about Sleep in the Box. I'm Madison. I'm Allie, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Most of you might have noticed foreign exchange students here the past two weeks. Let's learn why they were here. CMAP is a program where German students can visit Siemens during the fall, and then during the summer, Siemens students get to visit Germany for two weeks. CMAP is an exchange program that falls under the German-American Partnership Program that's part of Gagota Institute and sponsored by the American government and the German government. Um, and it's a short-term, two-week exchange that takes place between a school in Germany and a school in the U.S. Um, Seaman got involved in this program back in the early 90s um, when Anka Wells was the German teacher here. Um, and she had some friends in Marburg, Germany, and they um, decided to make an exchange between the two schools, and it's pretty much been every other year since, like, 1994. Students were selected by a tryout based off their home life and why they wanted to be in the program. Um, having them here was really hectic. We had two weeks to really fit in all the Kansas things. And so we were busy almost every night. The weekends were packed full, but I wouldn't have it any other way. We did a lot of fun stuff and got to hang out like all together in our big group, which is obviously like the best thing to do since like we can have our American friends with us and then they can have their German friends with them. So we all got to be together and really like have a good time while they were here in Kansas. So, um, When we go over to Marburg, it's probably going to be just as hectic as it was when they were in America. We'll spend some time at their school with them as well, but then we'll also go to little, like, go on little trips to um, concentration camps, um, like castle tours, just to see the culture and all of the sites that are in Germany. Students will get a taste of the culture of another country on the other side of the world. Our students will leave at the end of June. Wish them luck in Germany. Now on to the rest of announcements. Homecoming shirts are on sale during lunch for $15. The price covers both the shirt and cost into the dance. Dues for Interact Club are due as soon as possible. If you want a shirt, make sure and get that money in by Friday. Before the homecoming game, the Band Booster Club will be selling barbecue starting at 5.30. Come and support the band. Sleep in a Box will be next Saturday. Aaron caught up with Mr. Collins to learn more about it. Make sure and turn in the registration forms. Now over to Alley with Sport. Hey Vikes, I'm Aaron and I'm with Mr. Collins to talk about the Sleeping Box. So many, we've seen many advertisements about Sleeping Box in the last couple weeks, but what actually is it? Sleep in a Box is an event that Interact uh, has been putting on for five or six years now. And basically it is a homeless awareness and fundraising activity. Uh, we collect canned goods and we collect funds to donate to the Topeka Rescue Mission, to um, North Topeka Outreach, and PANT, which is an organization that helps homeless people that have pets. So is any uh, SHS student able to participate and how, how can they participate? We have uh, all of our application forms have been handed out and now we're just waiting for individuals to um, have their teams formed, turn their forms in and the forms are due to uh, either Mrs. Miller or myself by Monday. So where would these forms be able to be turned in at? Uh, they can turn in their forms to uh, my room in W1 or Mrs. Miller's in W15. And why should uh, students participate in this event? Yeah, it's important to, as members of the community, to be involved in your community and find ways to enhance, uh, enhance the lives of others, especially unfortunate people. And because we have a bigger population of homeless individuals and because the rescue mission has um, basically gone through some difficult times as far as donations go, yeah, it just cries for uh, that much louder for the need. 
Okay, and so when is this event going to be happening? We start on October 5th at 6 o'clock, and we finish uh, October 6th at 6 a.m. Okay, I hope to see all of you there. This is Aaron Mago, and back to your anchors. Spirit, do you want to show off your school spirit? Stuco is selling shirts from 23rd to 26th. Shirts are $15, and they double as your ticket to the dance. Don't forget to buy one at lunch. Soccer plays tonight at Hummer Sports Park. Speaking of soccer, their Cancer Awareness Night is on Monday. The first 40 students will get a free t-shirt. Tomorrow, the football team will play Emporia for homecoming. Come out and support your bikes. Now over to Madison with the weather. The high for today is 77 and is supposed to remain in the 70s for the rest of today. The weather for the homecoming game is 82 and it's supposed to be cloudy for the rest of the day and it's supposed to rain Saturday and Sunday. Now back to your anchors. That's all we have for today, Bikes. Don't forget to dress up for Decade Day tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day.